Hello friends, welcome to Techstudy Cell. In this video, we will make an another IoT project using the ESP Rainmaker to control the 8 appliances with Google Assistant, Alexa, IR Remote and also from the manual switches. And you can monitor the real-time feedback and the sensor readings on your smartphone from anywhere in the world. And if there is no internet, still you can control the appliances with IR Remote and manual switches. During the video, we will also add some automation to turn on and off the relays automatically according to the predefined time schedule. For this project, I have used all the free tools, so everything is free and I have also shared the circuit, source code and all other required details, so you can easily make this project after watching the complete video. To make this project, you just need a ESP32 relay module, DST11 sensor, IR receiver and LDR and you can make it without using any PCB but I will always recommend you to make the circuit on zero PCB or use a PCB to avoid any loose connection and you can easily design professional PCBs for any electronics project with the Altium PCB designing software. Altium is a very well known and most trusted PCB designing software. The user interface is so simple that you can easily design any complex PCB in Altium and it also provides a lot of useful tools and features for routing which will save you a lot of time and you will find a lot of details tutorial which will help you to use this software to make professional PCB very easily. So I will highly recommend you to download the free trial version of the Altium software from video description and later on if you like this software you can purchase it. Now before going to the details let me show you how the project works. As you can see this blue LED is glowing which indicate now the ESP32 is connected with the Wi-Fi so I can control it with the Google Assistant and Alexa. Hey Google. Turn on switch 3. You can sure. see the lamp turns on. Now let me turn it off with Alexa. Alexa, turn off switch 3. Okay. You can see the lamp turns off. And I can also use the IR remote to turn on and off the lamps. Let me show you. I can easily turn on all the lamps with the IR remote. And if I press this button, all the lamps will turn off together. Now let me use the manual switch to control these lamps and you can see I can easily control all the lamps with the manual switches. Now let me turn off the Wi-Fi and show you how it works without internet. After turning off the Wi-Fi you can see the blue LED turns off so I can only control these appliances from the IR remote and from the manual switches. Now let me turn on the Wi-Fi again. If the Wi-Fi is available, the ESP32 will automatically connect with the Wi-Fi and the blue LED will turn on. So now again I can control all these lamps with Alexa and Google Assistant. Hey Google. Turn off all the switch. Okay, turning eight switches off. Now let me go to the Rainmaker app to show you the sensor reading. Now here you can see the sensor reading the temperature, humidity and the LDR. First let me cover the LDR with my hand and you can see the value updated. Now if I remove my hand, again you can see the updated value. Now let me increase the temperature with a dryer. You can see the value is increasing. So currently it is showing the temperature 55 degrees Celsius. Now let me add some automation to control the relays with predefined time schedule. For that I have to tap on schedule and then tap on add schedule. Give a name. You can give any name. Tap on ok. Now select a time. I am selecting 10.26 pm. You can also repeat this automation. And in the action I want this 6 relay to turn on. Now let me tap on done and then I will save it. Currently it is 10.25 and as per the automation at 10.26 pm the 6 relay should turn on. You can see the 6 relay automatically turns on. 
so this is a very useful features you can add any automation according to your requirement with the ESP Rainmaker app so now without any further delay let's make this project this is the circuit for this project I have given the 5 volt supply to ESP32 relay module and the sensors and these switches are connected across the GPIO pins and the ground pin now if you want to use push button then you just have to connect the push buttons across the GPIO pins and the ground pin and please take proper safety precaution while connecting these appliances with the relay module as you can see the circuits are very simple you can easily make it but I will highly recommend you to use a PCB for this project and you can download the free trial version of the Altium software from the video description and use it to make professional PCBs for any electronics project. And you can also use this PCB for this project. I will also share the GABA file in the video description. Now these are the source code for this project. You can download all these codes from our website iotcircuithub.com. Just visit the article link given in the description. Then you can download all the codes from these buttons. After downloading the codes, first you have to upload this code to ESP32 to get all the hex code of the IR remote buttons. So first you have to connect the IR receiver with the ESP32 as per the circuit. Then upload this code to ESP32 and open the serial monitor. Then if you press any button in the IR remote, you will find the related hex code will populate in the serial monitor. Thus you can easily get the hex code of any IR remote buttons. I have already explained this process in my previous video. Now these are the main sketches for this project. If you use push button then you have to refer this code and for the lab switch you have to upload this code. Let me open both the code. Now if you use push button then you have to install all these libraries and for the switches you just have to install these two library. After that you have to update the ESP32 board to 2.0.3 version. So for that First you have to copy the preference link then you have to go to file and select preference and here you have to update the URLs after that click on ok then go to tools select the board then boards manager then search for ESP32 and here you have to install this version 2.0.3 I have already installed it after doing all this we will update the hex code of the IR remote buttons so let me open the notepad file. So this is the hex code of the button 1. I will just copy it and paste it here. So in a similar way you have to update all this hex code of the IR remote buttons that you are going to use for this project. Then if you want you can change these names. So these are the device name. Here I have given the name switch 1, switch 2, switch 8 like that but you can give any name as per your requirement like room light, study lamp, Alexa or Google will identify the device with this name. And this is the node name if you want you can also change it. Under this node you will find all these devices. So if you refer the same circuit after doing all these changes you can directly upload this code to ESP32. For that I will go to tools and select the board as ESP32 dev module. Then in the partition scheme I will select the rainmaker and after that I will select the proper port. Then I will hit the upload button. And in the code these are the GPIO pins I have used for this project. So if you want to change the circuit you can update the GPIO pin accordingly. If I go to void setup. So in the void setup I have set the timer interval 2 second. So after every 2 seconds if the Wi-Fi is connected then it will send the sensor data to ESP Rainmaker. After uploading the code to ESP32 you have to open the serial monitor. So here I have selected the broad rate 15200. Now I will press and hold the boot button of the ESP32. So this is the boot button. I will press and hold it for 4 seconds. Now I will release it. So here you can see the QR code so I will just copy the link just below the QR code. Now I will open a browser and here I will paste it and press the enter. So now we have to scan this QR code with the ESP Rainmaker app. You can download it from the Google Play Store or App Store. Let me open the app. 
now first before i scan the qr code i have to turn on the bluetooth and gps after that i will tap on add device now scan the qr code then i have to enter the wi-fi details and tap on start it may take some time so now i will tap on done so here you can see all the device we have added now i will quickly connect the google assistant and amazon alexa so i will tap on setting then i will tap on voice service first i will tap on amazon alexa and here i will tap on link with amazon alexa so now i will tap on link now here i will select continue with google you can also enter the id and password let me select the mail id now it is showing already linked with amazon alexa now let me open the amazon alexa app so if i go to device you can see the eight device already added in the amazon alexa app now again i will go to the rainmaker app so now we will connect the google assistant for that we have to open the google home app so let me open the google home app you can install this app from google play store or app store now i will tap on this plus icon first i will create a home so i will tap on create new home and here let me give the name smart home you can give any name now i will tap on continue i will not enter any home address so i will skip this step and select continue without address so our home is created now again i will tap on this plus icon and select setup device and now i will tap on works with google here i have to search for rainmaker so let me type the rainmaker so i have to tap on this esp rainmaker now i will tap on continue now let me exit to main dashboard so here you can see all the eight device added successfully and during this process you can see the blue led is glowing which indicate now the esp32 is connected with the wi-fi now let me connect the esp32 with the relay module according to the circuit so this is a very useful iot project and you can easily make it in your home if you find this project helpful then please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day